All right, guys, I was in Staples earlier today buying some copy paper. As, as I was checking out, right on the checkout line, they got all those things that you can grab. And they had this little guy. I mean, it's shiny, so naturally I was attracted to it. It is a Click Smart Padlock. And, you know, you're seeing more and more of these, and almost all of them have some kind of inherent weakness built in. So it's not a matter of does this suck. It, I think it's probably a matter of how much does it suck. Uh, let's see what some of the promises are. Uh, it is iOS. So you can use it with Apple. You can use it with Android. It is Bluetooth. You can download the Click app. Mm. Phone or the locks with a keypad. And I saw a picture. There it is. There's your keypad on the bottom of the lock. Pretty cool. Two-in-one keyless locking system. So it's Bluetooth with the app, manual with number. And there it is, USB rechargeable. So I was a little worried about this six-month battery life until I saw that. So apparently when you charge it up, uh, it'll last up to six months between openings by itself. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see just how bad this one is. Most of them I found they, they have some kind of rubber gasket that you can take off or there's a screw that you can pull out that makes the whole thing fall apart. Let's see what we got here. That's just a hanger. Don't need any of that junk. Lock and of course just a standard USB cable. We got some instructions on how to program it, it looks like. I am not even going to waste my time. I want to get right to the lock. All right, we got a couple things we can scan. So I guess that would scan, uh, scan it with your phone, help you get into it. I'm looking around for screws. I don't see any here underneath this sticker, perhaps. I don't feel anything under there, but I doubt it. No, there's nothing under there. It's just a sticker. All right, so there's no screw. So you, oftentimes you find a screw underneath the sticker. You take it out and the lock kind of falls apart. Nothing on the top here. It is very light. It feels like the body is made out of perhaps aluminum. Yeah, the body's made out of aluminum. Oh, thank goodness. The shackle is made out of steel. So that's, that's a step in the right direction, I guess. I could probably brute force this by hitting it with a hammer as light as this is, but... Let's see if we can find another way in. Uh, this bottom feels like some kind of rubberized material. These are definitely the rubberized buttons. I don't know how to get the... It must. Oh, there it is. It is charged, so I could probably figure out a combination, but I'm way too lazy for that. I am going to go right for... I'm going to download my Click app right now. And let's see if I can find one. This Click app looks very promising. Because on the bottom of here, this is plastic. So let's see if we can just pry that plastic off using our Click app. And there we go. So we don't need that. Now inside of here, it looks like they've used their head a little bit. Um, we do have some anti-tamper screws holding this bottom plate on. Uh, I could try to take those anti-tamper screws out, but um, I think there's probably an easier way. This looks... This is a plastic cover, so I can probably access this lock, as they recommend, through the USB port, like this, with my Click app. And we can probably... Get this thing right off here. It's a little harder than I thought. There we go. Now we definitely penetrated this lock. And there's all the innards. So I'm going to pull all this stuff out of the way, and let's take a quick look at what we have. It looks like the actuator motor right there with the black and the blue wire. So let's cut those. Let me find a cutter here. Cut those. So we'll set that aside, and let's look at what else we get here. We get a lot of electronic circuitry, which apparently is still active. But more importantly, we have a power source, and we have a motor inside of there. We got a power source here. Let's go ahead and pull him off of there. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut these. I know we could probably use that plug, but I'm going to take the power source that they gave us. Just strip off these wires real quick. Set him aside. Let's get our motor. Strip this guy real quick. Notice we got a black and a blue. We have a black and a red. Let's go, let's try first black to black. 
And then we'll go, and this, by the way, it is locked. Let's see if we can get it unlocked, though. And then we'll go blue to red. We'll try that first and just kind of see what happens. And there we go. That is how easy it is to open up using your Click app. Get right into that thing. I'll bet we can even, just for the heck of it, let's close him up and reverse the polarity. Let's put the red to the black and the black to the blue and just see if we can lock this dude back up. Get a good contact there, Bill. On both of them. And there we go. We've locked it up. <laughs> How silly is that? Anyway, guys, all of these have some kind of inherent weakness. The guys that design these and pump these out the back door, probably somewhere in China, are geniuses when it comes to electronic circuitry, Bluetooth algorithms, encryption, and all of that. But when it comes to the physical access to these things, they are not so sharp. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. As always, stay away from these Bluetooth smart padlocks until they get their act together. Thanks, guys.